Hello, people -os. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this? I got it for 20 bucks at Bargain Hunt. At Target, it's like $80. I took a picture. Here's proof. <laughs> no regrets. No regrets. Anyways. So today, because I've been getting more into anime recently, I started watching, I watched Blue Exorcist like two years ago. I started Sword Art Online. I finished Sword Art Online like this year. I've watched like six other animes just this year. And I, you know, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to share my favorite ones so far, my top three so far. Because I'm obsessed and also really lame. So grab your notebook, something to write with. Because these are my top three anime that I have watched so far. I just realized I didn't turn these lights on. Give me a second. That's better. Okay, moving on. So the animes that I've watched so far include Blue Exorcist, The Devil's a Part-Timer, On High School Host Club, Your Lion April, uh, Full Metal Alchemist I'm almost done with, I have one episode left of My Hero Academia, and No Game No Life. So those, those are the, some of the animes that I've been watching so far. And out of all of the animes I've seen, first of all, Blue Exorcist is great, I love Sword Art Online, but my top three are not what you'd think that they are. But when I explain them, they make more sense. So, give me a minute and I'll get there. Coming in at number trays, we've got No Game No Life. Now, if you've not seen No Game No Life, fair warning, there's only one season of it. It came out in 2014. There's also a movie. I have not seen the movie. I hear it's pretty good. It's also like a prequel, but like not a prequel, so it's kind of like... What? The whole premise of No Game No Life is that there are two siblings, Shiro and Sora. They are online gamers. They basically win at everything. They go by the name of blank. They're so good that someone from another world where literally everything is a game contacted them and was kind of like, hey, what if you were reborn in a world where everything is a game? So basically, they get into this new world where everything's a game. This world is called Disboard. Literally everything can be bet and won in any kind of game, be it a coin toss or poker, tic-tac-toe, it doesn't matter. And when I say everything can be bet, I mean literally everything. Everything? Everything. Money, of course, but there's also the kingship of cert of the races. They're won through games, along with being the god of the world and your very existence. Literally all of that can be bet in a game and won and lost. It's a little insane. Now these two siblings, they want to win being the god of the world. So in order to do that, they have to conquer the world. They have to basically win all of the countries, conquer the world, and let me tell ya, they don't do that in the first season, which there is only one of. There are only 12 episodes in the entire thing right now. I've seen news that there's supposed to be a second season this year, but I'm not entirely sure, so don't, don't quote me on this. It's a really good anime, so if you want to like feel like your life has a hole in it after watching that, Go read the manga and you'll be fine. So, that was my number three favorite. Also, the animation and the, the art is really, really pretty. Just the colors, and it's, it's really colorful. And it's really just, I don't know how to describe anime, but it's, it's a great looking anime. Yeah, okay, moving on. Numero dos. This one I've talked about before, it's Your Lion April. I talked about this a little bit in my monthly favorites video, which you can watch if you want. I don't know. Uh, it's basically uh, after this piano player's mom dies. I think he was like 11 or 12. I don't remember if he was 11 or 12. I think it was he. Was he 12? I don't remember. Someone, someone correct me. His mom dies and then he suddenly he just can't hear his own playing so he stops playing at some point. When he's 14, this girl comes into his life and motivates him to begin playing again. She plays the violin and so he accompanies her during one of her competitions and things just progress from there. It's a good anime. It's a sad anime. Bring your tissues. Bring your tissues. You're gonna need it. You'll thank me later. Again, the art is really beautiful. The first opening theme thing, for, again, it's really catchy. It's also just, it's so colorful and pretty and I can't stand it. It hurts my heart a little bit actually because of how I just I want to rewatch that right now actually so give me I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go do that right now I'll be right back ah <sighs> a 
feel better now. Okay, just again, bring your tissues. It's a great anime. It's a sad anime. If you're a musician, this will kind of, this might hit home a little bit because I play the clarinet, so it kind of meant a little bit more to me because I understand. I understand. I still get it. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I've never done it competitively, but you know, because I'm a musician, I feel like I relate a little bit more to this anime. Maybe that's why it's my number two. Hmm. Maybe. Okie dokie. So that was my number two. Numero uno. Right now, my number one anime is My Hero Academia. This might not make sense to you. It's obsessed seeing as Sword Art Online is on the list of things that I've watched and I actually, I super like, I super like, why do I keep saying that? I really like Sword Art Online. I've, it's, it's really good. I like Sword Art Online. I also really like Blue Exorcist. Full of Metal Alchemist is pretty up there as well, but My Hero Academia is just so cute right now. Again, I'm kind of like literally almost done watching it, so I, on the high, I just binge watched basically the entire thing. I'm obsessed with it right now. Kind of just got a poster from Target. This video may have just been an excuse to show you that poster. You're welcome. Yep. Hard to get that image out of your head. Anyways, so the premise of My Hero Academia is basically, in this world, there are about 80% of people born with these things called quirks or superpowers. So. 80% of people are born with powers, about 20% are not. This story revolves about around a boy who was born without a quirk, but he gets a quirk later on. It's basically him figuring out how to use it, how to not use it, how to not get injured while using it, getting along with his classmates and all of his classmates' development through their own powers, and I'm just... <sighs> if you know me, you know that I really love origin stories. Origin stories are my favorite type of movie, favorite type of TV show. That's why I really like The Flash. That's why Supergirl is like kind of okay to me. It's not my favorite thing ever because she like already kind of knows how to use her powers. This is why I like Thor Ragnarok so much because he found he finds out that he doesn't need his hammer to be like the god of thunder. <laughs> Can you dig me? Can you dig me? Tell me you understand so I'm not crazy. That's why I like My Hero Academia, because the whole entire thing is just Izuku just finding out how to be a superhero. It is so cool. I really like it. The art kind of reminds me a little bit of, I have not seen this, I have not seen Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, but it's kind of reminiscent of that a little bit, like the eyes, you know what I mean, right? Because the eyes are like the same. Izuku and Goku, they have like the... <laughs> You know what I mean. The eyes are like similar. It literally came out like two years ago. Two years ago was the first season of My Hero Academia. Or should I say Boku no Hero Academia? My Hero Academia. Does it even matter? I like to say it in Japanese because it's cooler and it sounds cooler, but at the same time I feel like I'm becoming a weeaboo if I say it in Japanese, so I'm just gonna say My Hero Academia. Rewind, rewind, never mind. Does it even matter? But there are only two seasons of My Hero Academia out right now, which means that there are about 38 episodes, I believe. Somewhere around there, I think that there's 38 episodes. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, I wish that there was more. It's coming, the third season's coming out around April. I think it's April 7th is the release date for the next season, which I'm kind of sad about because if I had waited another few months to watch this, then it'd be a third season. But at the same time, I don't have to wait a long time to get new episodes. It's fine. Whatever. So, those are my top three anime so far. Now, here's the thing. If I were to rewatch Sword Art Online right now, I'd probably be... The list would probably be so much different. But this is just, as of right now, My Hero Academia is my top anime because I'm watching it, and I'm in love with it, and it's literally right up my alley. I love superhero type things. This is literally my favorite thing. Holy moly. Holy moly. Please tell me, am I becoming a weeaboo? Because I'm so confused. I don't... What even is a weeaboo? What's the difference between a weeaboo and an otaku? How can you tell if you're becoming a weeaboo? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Comment some of your favorite anime so I have some suggestions on what to watch next. Because I think after I'm done with My Hero Academia, I'm going to finish Full Metal Alchemist as well. And then Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, of course. But I think after this, I'm going to watch Attack on Titan. So hey, you know, 
Give me some suggestions, because I've got a queue, but I don't know what to watch first. Food Wars? Yuri on Ice? Free? <laughs> Maybe not free, I've heard some things about free. Ho ho! In the meantime, subscribe to my channel if you're looking for some random fandom videos to watch. I'm gonna be doing that a little more often, maybe. I don't know if I'm gonna ever have a schedule, but, but whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next video! Bye!